This is Minecraft at night, and this is Minecraft at night with full brightness toggle mod. And I'm gonna teach you how to get this mod for Minecraft 1.21.6. Let's go. Now, the first step is to click the second link in the description that is going to put you in this page. And from here, we're going to download all the files that we need. Now, first, we're going to download full brightness toggle mod. This is also an article in case I go too fast in this video, you guys could read through it. But if you wanna go straight to the point, come down to step one and press on FBT. That is going to redirect you right here, where we're going to select game version, and we're going to choose 1.21.6, and then go ahead and hit on these three dots and hit download file. Now begin the download within 5 seconds and I want you to go ahead and place that file in your desktop. You will find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. As you can see, once you have that file in your desktop, you also need to download Collective. That is one of the requirements of full brightness toggle mod and you can find Collective here on the third step. And using that second link, that same article where we downloaded FPT from, you could also find Collective down here. Just go ahead and press on it and that will redirect you over here where you're going to scroll down, select 1.21.6 and download the latest version of 1.21.6 for Collective right here. Click on the 3 dots, click download file, and the download will begin within five seconds. Now, just like we did before, we're going to place that file in our desktop. Again, you can find it on your recent download history or the downloads folder of your computer. Now, guys, at this point, if you already have any mod loader like NeoForge, Forge, Fabric, you could just add these two mods into your mods folder and you're done. You'll have full brightness toggle mod working in Minecraft 1.21.6. But if you don't have any mod loader, then let's go ahead and install Forge real quick. Use the third link in the description that'll place you in this quick article here in case I go too fast in this video. But if you want to go straight to the point, come down to step one, press on Forge. Now, redirect you over here where we're going to select 1.21.6 on the left side and then we're going to hit installer right here and that is going to redirect you over here where we're going to click skip after five seconds on the top right don't press anything else just skip after five seconds and the download for the installer forge will begin right away and i want you to place that file in your desktop just like we have done with every other file so far now once you got forge in your desktop it's time to begin the installation process just make sure you have closed your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher and you need to have played minecraft 1.21.6 at least once on your computer for this to work now go ahead and double click on the forge installer that should open a quick menu here and if this doesn't open don't worry i'm gonna teach you how to fix that in a second but once it opens though click on the install client and hit okay and again if it didn't open make sure you're running java 21 in your computer this is a requirement to install mods in minecraft 1.21.6 so if you don't have java 21 i'll leave you this in the description of this video super easy to install you just download it and hit next a couple of times and then you'll be able to open this type of files or any other mod for minecraft now what Forge installs if you guys want to support the channel make a server with apex hosting using the first link in the description not only do they have great deals not only would they give you guys 30 35% off for using that first link. They also support over 200 mod packs and they have locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging when playing with your friends. And again, you'll be supporting the channel if you use that link in the description. Anyways, let's check on Forge and as we can see, it has finished installing. So let's go ahead and press OK right here. We could delete the installer of Forge. We won't be using that anymore as well as this little log in here from the desktop. You could delete it as well. Now it's time to add this mod into the game. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher and then once the launcher opens, if you install Forge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. But we're not going to hit play just yet. We need to add the mods. For that, head over to installations click on modded if you don't have modded selected you won't see anything in here or you won't see forge and then once you see forge hover over it and press where it says open installations folder that is going to open a folder containing a lot of files but you're now looking for another folder called mods and my mods folder is right here and if you don't have a mods folder and i actually deleted mine to teach you what to do if you don't have a mods folder just press on new press folder and name it mods m-o-d-s just like that and now go ahead and open that mods folder up and in here guys we're going to place collective as well as full brightness toggle mod from our desktop just go ahead and drag and drop it from your desktop into here and once you have these mods in here you could add any other mod that you want as long as they are compatible with your mod loader and minecraft 1.21.6 now close this folder head back into the launcher and click play right next to forge if you get this prompt read through it and if you agree click understand and then hit play one more time now once your game loads we know that we're in forge because it says it everywhere but we also have mods down here and we can see that full brightness toggle mod is in here now it's time to test the mod so let's go ahead and launch a single player world now you could also use full brightness toggle mod on a multiplayer server but it might not be allowed on some servers so if you want to make sure you're doing things right just create your own server again you could use that first link down in the description and now that we just loaded into a world it's perfect because it's almost nighttime and we could test out the full brightness toggle mod so all you have to do is go ahead and press the letter g on your keyboard and when you press g you will see that everything looks just as if you were using night vision effect because we now have full brightness toggle mod and of course we could turn it off by pressing g one more time and as you can see everything gets dark again and i'm gonna press g one more time it turns bright but there you guys have it how to download and install the full brightness toggle mod for minecraft 1.21.6 if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time.